Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you're a regular, thank you for returning. Today, I'm bringing you a delicious recipe. If you're looking for a new way to make eggs, I have a recipe for you. I love it and I wanted to share it with you. The ingredients that I have in front of me are four eggs. And I'm using two eggs per ramekin. I also have uh, four ounces of tomato sauce because I'm gonna be making a sofrito. Um, I'm using a quarter of a red pepper, a quarter of a green pepper, a quarter of an onion. I'm using uh, three garlic cloves, or you can use a t two teaspoons of um, minced garlic if you have it in a jar. I'm using two tablespoons of melted butter, some fresh parsley chopped. I'm using olive oil, um, three tablespoons of white wine, and you can use um, sherry if you have. Um, I'm also using some oregano, uh, salt and pepper and that's it now I have my oven preheating at 350 and the reason why I'm, I have my oven preheated because I'm gonna be baking these um, eggs I'm not gonna be cooking them on the stove I'm just gonna add some olive oil in the pan let me say about a tablespoon of olive oil I'm adding to the pan and I'm now I'm gonna add in my peppers and onions the garlic I'm gonna add a little bit later And you just want to cook the um, onions and peppers to, uh, until they're soft. And the onions are translucent. So that's basically what you want to do. And um, for this dish, it's really, like I said, it's really quick and it's really delicious. And if you want to change uh, uh, a new way on uh, making eggs, this is a delicious um, recipe. Okay, so I'm going to let this uh, cook down for about three minutes and I'll be back. So now I'm gonna add in my um, garlic. Okay. And now I'm going to add in my tomato sauce. This smells really delicious. I love garlic. Why well, love sofrito? Period. Okay. All right. So this is my sofrito, and now. To give it a little kick, I'm going to add uh, some salt, pepper, and some oregano, and a little wine. So I'm gonna add, and I'm just eyeballing this, so I'm just sprinkling some oregano. I can't tell you exactly the exact measurement, but you guys can just make your own, you know, judgment. Make, I'm adding some black pepper. A little salt. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of white wine. So I'm going to measure this out. And I'm just gonna let this come to a simmer um, because the rest of this is gonna cook in the, um, in the oven. So I really don't need to really cook it um, completely. This smells really delicious. All right, so I'm just gonna taste it to see if I have enough salt in it because this is the base of your um, your dish so you want this to taste really delicious so i'm going to get a, another spoon okay, so let me see what it tastes like i'm just going to add a little sasson to it okay 
Now, I know I didn't mention this. <laughs> I didn't mention this in the recipe when I was giving you the ingredients. But uh, when you're cooking, you have to make this your own recipe. And um, when I tasted the uh, sofrito, I felt it was missing something. Even though it did taste good. But like I said, when you're cooking, you're in control of your kitchen. You're in control of it. So you make it how you want to make it. Now I'm going to taste this again and see what, what it tastes like. I need anything else. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, just fruit. <laughs> you need sasson. I don't know. Maybe you can make this without it, but to me, um, that gave it an extra kick up. I'm going to just uh, turn this off. And um, I'm going to get the eggs ready. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the Dominicans. Okay. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the eggs over top, both two eggs into one ramekin. So it's gonna be two in this one, the first one, two in the other one. All right. baking dish here and you want to put your eggs inside like this and you're gonna carry this over to the stove and you're gonna add some water to the bottom of the uh, baking dish but don't add the water until you get the eggs in the stove okay so this is what we have here so you'll see what's going on okay and what you want to do before you add this in the oven is you want to take this melted butter that I melted here and you're going to just pour a little bit so that your eggs taste so buttery okay and you can um if you want to add a little salt on top of it let's add a little salt just a pinch of salt pinch of salt if you want to put some pepper on it you can but um, I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'll add the pepper later. So we're going to bring this over to the stove. Let's put it at the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to add the water in So basically what I'm creating is a baño maria, which is a water bath, so that the eggs don't burn while they're baking. Okay. And we only want to put it about a quart. We don't want to add too much water because we don't want it to come up to the top. And we're not going to cover this. We're going to just let this cook uncovered for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. Mira que rico. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at how beautiful these are. So I'm going to add... Um, some parsley over this. So I'm just gonna take a little, just so you can see what the um, what it looks like. a really delicious dish and with the sofrito in it it really makes it taste really tasty this dish is a really quick and easy recipe and i'm sure that your family is going to love this i love making this dish um and this recipe is not to be confused with the mexican recipe called huevos rancheros which is similar but it has different ingredients but anyway guys i just want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video please stay tuned for more upcoming videos and if you haven't subscribed please do so now thanks for watching Bye bye